recording. Okay, so here we are designing a 3D printer with a minimal part count. Our goal is to have one unique part count for the entire 3D printer. Not, but almost. A few parts. So this bracket that you see here is used for a carriage for the end pieces of axes as well as the frame. This is amazing. This blows your mind. But we're trying to do that. This is a 3D printed piece. You can attach it to itself. You can s stick rods through it and make carriages. But this is what we're doing here. So we're in the process of that. Um, and we're trying to see if you can fit three of these pieces together to form an XYZ structure that could, for example, be a corner of a cubic lattice. And I will edit this video down so that we see a uh, something very interesting and this is done using Blender right now. We're gonna pr produce a video of how to use Blender so you can do things like this for rapid prototyping or for conceptual block diagrams, like blocky conceptual designs. Okay. So now we're moving in the third piece. I'm gonna flip it. Maybe put the other one. Can you put that one, the the middle one, on the edge, not in the middle? Maybe, so that you make a better X Y Z corner. Uh, which one? The one I'm working on now. Yeah, I was thinking a a corner. Oh, this is one. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe put on edge and then put one on the bottom or something or on the top. But we're trying to see if they actually fit. Yeah, like that. And then the next one, can you cap this structure with the next one? It appears yes, because the the positive protrusions fit into the negative holes. Yep. And this is very, very amazing. Uh, very... I am one. amazed. The concept is, what if this one 3D printed piece can be used to make XYZ carriages. So basically the Prusa i3 style of the X carriage, use that for XYZ axes. And then this could be used for the frame as well. Uh, for an experiment in the radical part minimization, which means flexibility and ease of production. And if you could make the frame out of this, that would be amazing. So rods are used to connect these pieces. We'll see what the limits are. Now we have uh, uh, it's, uh, it's Y and Z axis. Okay, but but flip the. No, but you have to flip one one ninety degrees. Like take take one of them and flip them. So you got X Y plane, X Z and Y Z. Okay, but we're. I don't think we're concerned about the rods for now. Let's just see this as a block structure by itself. So you just drew it up so that the rods also fit. Yeah, you did. Oh, wow, interesting. So now... Ah. Yeah, so that would be a corner bracket indeed. Um, however, draw one that does not use rods. So that means... Okay, so that's a good point. Maybe save this one, copy it, and do the next one, which is XYZ without rods. Meaning you're just relying on the bodies of these to stack up and make corners. So assume we're not using rods but just these pieces to make a frame. So let's see if we can do an XYZ that way. Uh, I'm not sure that I... You don't understand uh, that one? You could, yeah. You could make a whole plate with, with those, of course. Uh, Right, so can we do a, can you do an XYZ plate, XYZ corner bracket out of these? Well, um, if it's only like for a frame, you could like put two, two of those. 
Because here I made a space in the middle, so you can put a, a half inch bar in the middle of the piece. So you would have like two bars like that. Um, and uh, yeah, here on the side you have two bars, and then here you would have two bars. It would be solution also, but. There's, uh, there's a lot of uh, possibilities to put them together. Huh? Okay, but hold on now. Um, yeah, add another. So make a corner out of this now, XYZ corner. No bars, yeah. Do you have snapping in Blender so you can align things? So we got the 3D printer waffle. Now the, in, in, in this combination you could put rods uh, downwards. Have like three possibilities here. You can put rods here. And you can put rods like that. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> that's good for the rods, but show me one that's, I, I'm just, thinking about can you put add another one on the y-axis coming towards you oh. yeah there yeah put another one of these in the negative y yep Yeah. Okay. Now, can you put me uh, one on the XY plane on the bottom? Um, Does that work? I think it works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works. It works. So what we've just discovered yeah. here is you can make reinforced corner brackets. That's awesome. This is absolutely amazing. So not only do we have corner brackets, but also you can put rods through these. So this is an extremely flexible, um, flexible kind of a design. We gotta patent this and and make millions. That would be nice. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I wonder if anybody came up with this kind of a design. But this is this is really cool. We gotta make sure we publish it and keep it open as soon as this video is out it's prior art yeah so this is wow this is just I am blown away by this this is I think we're onto something here mm-hmm Yep, so the it all fits, right? It's the proper gender. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. I think uh, nothing has, uh, Let uh, me uh, let me take a... Uh, obnoxious, uh, okay, uh, put it in there so I can take a take a screenshot. Yep, that looks pretty good. Um so we can make, we can say we can make an XYZ corner bracket. I still have to adapt it a bit, like uh, a few more holes for the, the axis of the, of the pulley, the, the belt pulley, but yeah, it's uh, the same principle, just a few more holes. So, uh, fundamentally, uh, it's not going to be a uh, completely different. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but 
Belgian waffle. <laughs> the Belgian waffle that saved the world. <laughs> oh, this is getting good. Oh man, this is uh Sure. I mean, that's why I'm saying send it. Yeah, send it to me right now. What I'll do is I'll do a scaled down version that does the 12 millimeter rod, which I've got plenty of those rods here from the old 3D printers. I can just test it right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the good thing is if you draw it, we, I can just scale it up for the whatever rod we can use, except for the bolt patterns on the motors. They would have to change. Um, yeah, yeah. It's not completely ready. I'm like uh, it's, uh, just like uh, the last uh, two days. I'm focused on it. Uh, it will take uh, a few more days to to have like all the elements integrated. But uh, yeah, won't get there. Yeah. Um, the other one. This one I'm gonna send you. Man, this is so insane. And the cool thing is that this is completely enabled by 3D printing. If we didn't have 3D printing, this would be just, we couldn't even talk no. about it, you know? Yeah, but the, the possibilities of 3D printing, we, we have to use it in an optimal way. And it's, it's possible to make like complex parts, so why wouldn't we? Right, exactly. So, let's see, and can I get a screenshot of the the XYZ rod structure? Okay. Hey, show me the, show me the X Y Z rod structure, and I'll quit the video, so I can. I'm not even gonna edit this. This is too exciting. People are gonna have it raw. No, just show me the other structure. Show me, just show me the structure that you already have. The Belgian waffle. Wait, did you just? You already called it the Belgian waffle? Well, I was thinking about it today. Like, it looks like a waffle, yeah, Belgian waffle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man, this is. It's there's a. This is a good story, man. This is uh. We can make this go viral. I mean, literally, the Belgian waffle that saved the world. I mean, maybe you got to trademark that immediately. That'll be your brand. Okay, show me. Uh, you're, you're thrown in the rods. Show me. Uh, you you didn't save that other one. Where's the one that you had the triple one, the X Y Z for the rods, but but without the rods? Um, uh, well, it, it was this one that uh, uh, I you took it apart. It, uh, yeah. Uh, wow, but man, that is uh, so flexible to to work with these pieces that you s can stick the rods through. Therefore, that these things can work as carriages or as solid corners. Holy cow! So, so, hey, so if you make the screw holes threaded, then you can actually put set screws and hold the rods in place. Man, that is amazing. That's amazing functionality. So, set screws built into the system. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that would be nice. Like, you could, uh, like, fixate the rods by just putting a hole into it. 
yeah for the for the one inch version yeah so for the one inch version you can absolutely print the threads for maybe like for the quarter inch it might get a little hard a little difficult but because this is plastic you literally the screw that you put in there creates the threads you know so you're basically threading the this piece when you put in the the screw Wow, this is just beautiful. Yeah, the design isn't completely finished yet, but uh, I think the design concept is... Yep, really we have a design concept, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, sorry. Cut you off there. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Okay, so I think that's enough of a preview of the, the 3D printer design. Basically, this one piece is going to form the axes and the frames, both carriages and end pieces and then it's the electronics on top of that but the mechanical is pretty much addressed with all of this XYZ motors and then you have the extruder and electronic controls heated bed and stops but this is uh, to get the structure out of one piece <laughs> I think that is just for anyone yeah, who appreciates you have too much uh, spare parts you have uh, like, I don't know, few spare parts and you can put them where it's necessary yeah I mean to that I, I think for anyone who uh, appreciates simplicity, for anyone who understands that this one single piece can be recon reconfigured for frames and axes, that's just amazing. With the ability to put in rods, to mount the stepper motor on it, to mount the idler pulleys on this, inside that little hole that's in this, to hold belts, to set screw the rods into place, and probably a load of other features that we will add once we really perfect this design. So thank you for listening. We'll be back with more very soon. Okay, stop recording.